we've had a lot of requests to add an interactive PDF Kindle Scribe option to our popular planner tool. I'm thrilled to announce that the planner tool now has that option. Let's head over to a book creator and I'll show you how to use this new ability. To get to the planner tool, you can click on other tools, planner creator tool, or click on the icon. As with all of our tools, you want to start by selecting your trim size. I'll get to the Kindle Scribe option a little bit, but first I'm going to go over all of the different options available for each one of the calendar page types. So let's go ahead and go with 8.5 by 11. And let's add yearly, monthly, week, and day pages to our calendar. The first thing you can switch between is whether or not you want to start your calendars on Monday or Sunday. So let's go ahead and do a refresh. And you'll see right now our monthly calendars all start with Sunday. And it's the same for our monthly pages. All of our weekly pages right now start on a Monday. If this is an option you'd like to be able to select between Monday or Sunday for the weekly pages, leave a comment below and we'll add that for you. So if you click on start on Monday instead of Sunday, now all of your calendar pages for the month are gonna start on Monday for your yearly page and your monthly page. You also have the option to add holidays, and we have a number of different countries that you can select from. If the country you want to create calendars for is not listed here, leave us a comment below and we'll add it for you. For this example, I'm just gonna use the United States country. So now, when you go to your monthly pages, you're going to see the holidays listed here, and you'll also see them on your week pages and on the daily pages. You also have the option not to use dated pages. And this is what the monthly page looks like, the week page and the day page. For the undated pages, you can specify how many months you want, how many weeks and how many days. And then you just download it. And then you'll have however many months you specified, followed by the weeks you specified, followed by the days. And each one of these pages has settings you can set. So for the month, you can select between one page and two pages. And this is what the two page looks like. You can also specify the words you want to use for each one of the texts. So if you want to change month to a different language, you can do that. You can change the to-do, you can change the notes, and you can change the main goals. The last thing you can change is the number of letters you show here for the days of the week. You can do three letters, or you can do all letters. Let's look at the weekly pages. You can select between one page or two pages. You can select between the horizontal or vertical if you're doing the two pages. And you can also customize all the text, the to-do, the notes, the week, and you can specify the alignment of the week. For the day pages, you can select between a.m. and p.m., 24 hours, so you can change it that way. And you can also set all of the text here any way you want and specify the alignment also for the date here. So let's look at the text settings. You can customize the language used by clicking this box. And then you need to put the words you wanna use for the month, starting with January, and the words you wanna use for the days of the week, starting with Sunday. So for example, if you wanted to create a planner in Spanish, you could take the words for the months in Spanish and the words for the days of the week in Spanish and put them here and here. We do a refresh. 
you'll see on the undated pages it changes the days of the week and of course you can go to the settings and change week to do a notes also to that language but let's go and change it to dated pages so you can see what it looks like on there so now we have the month being changed for each one and let's add the year now you see you have all the words in the Spanish and let's look at the yearly settings because we haven't done that yet. So you can have one letter here or you can have two. And that will be based on the words you put for your days of the week. And you'll see that your month pages are going to reflect the new language you put in, your week pages, and your day pages. You can go even further and add holidays, and let's add the holidays for, for Mexico. And now let's add, added the word for New Year on the first day. And if you go here, you'll see it's added the New Year here. And it's also added it into your weekly pages. So that's how you can change the language you wanna use. Just briefly, let's touch on the settings. So the settings are the same that you had for the undated. Here's one difference for the weekly pages. You can select whether you want the date to be the number and then the day of the week, or the day of the week and the number. Let's go back and put this back to English. Now we switched it around. You can also select you know how many letters you want to use as well. Then if we look at the the day pages, you can select between month day or day month here, which I know with one you can't really tell, but let's do a download and I'll show you what the difference is. So we have day month, so we have day month, so we have 15 one instead of 115. So if you have so then if we put it to month day, now we have one one, one two, one three, etc. And you also have the option to put the entire thing, the day of the week, the date, the month, and the year. Okay, now that we've talked about all the different settings that you have for each one of the calendar page types, let's talk about Kindle Scribe options. When you do Kindle Scribe, you're going to get a menu bar down the side that's gonna have the year, and it's going to have every one of the months and it's going to be interactive so if you just did the day it's not going to get you months so you want to do year month week day so you can do any one of those all together and let's do a download and i'll show you all the different interactions you can do with it okay, so you have a menu bar down the side and it's going to be there for every one of your pages you can click on any month and it will take you to that month you can click on the year and it will take you back to the year page. Inside of your calendar here, you can also click on any month and it will take you to that month. You can click on any day and it will take you to that day. And you can click on any week and it will take you to that week. And that works on every single page. So here we're on week one. We can click week one and now we go to the weekly page. We can click back January and go to the January page. We can pick, click on any date of the month and go to the daily page. And you can click over here and go back to, let's say you wanted to go to, back to a weekly page. You could do that. So every single page is connected throughout the document. It makes it super easy to navigate through your calendar. And of course you can change all the text here as well, just the way you could do it on the un dated one, you can change your to-do, you can change your notes, you can change your language. You can change the format of your titles here, your to-do, notes. You can also use a different language for the Kindle Scribe as well. And if you're going to use weekly pages, you can go over on the weekly settings and you can change this from week to whatever the week is for your language. So you can customize that as well. Now I'm gonna take you over to my Kindle Scribe and I'm gonna show you how to use this document on the Kindle Scribe. 
To get your document to Kindle Scribe, you go to www.amazon.com slash send to Kindle. And then you might have to sign in, but once you're all signed in, you get this box. And all you have to do is drag and drop your file into here and click on send. Your file will get uploaded and then you'll see this status of processing and once it has finished processing it will be on your Kindle and you'll be able to open the file. Once it's done processing it will say in library and now you can access it on your Kindle. Now I'm on my Kindle and I can change my pen to a selector and now I can use my pen to bounce around the document. As you see we have the menu over here on the side and you can do more than one year and if you have more than one year you'll see both years showing up and you can just click on the, the year you want to go to and the year page will pop up and depending on which one of these two is highlighted the month for that year will show up since I'm on 2026 and April, April shows up. If I, if I go to 2025 and then go to a month, it's going to have the 2025 version of the month. So everything in here is interactive. You can click on the month and it will take you to the month. You can click on an individual date and it will take you to that day page. And you can click on a week and it will take you to the week page. If you're on a month, the same thing, you can click on a week and it will go to the week page. You can click on any date within here and it will go to the day page for that date. And on the day pages, you see that you have the monthly calendar and you can go to another day by clicking on it or you can go to the week calendar. And on the week calendar, every one of these are also interactive and will take you to the individual day from that particular week. And the same calendar will work the same way on the week page that it works on the daily page. So you can go from week to day to month, any way you want, and you can jump around from month to month as well by using your navigation panel on the side. Now that you know how to use the planner tool, we want to hear from you. We will be adding the save settings functionality to this tool soon. Other than that, what would you like added to this tool? Would you like the ability to add prompts to pages or customize the font or font size individually for each item of text on the page? How about adjusting the sizes of the lines on the page? Do you want to be able to use color on the pages? Or maybe you need the planner tool to do something else entirely. Tell us about it in the comments below. The more popular the request, the sooner it will get implemented, so be sure to comment if you have an upgrade suggestion for this tool. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.